Do you know what riz means? Riz. 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 Yeah. Aren't they smoking papers? Rizzler, riz, riz, riz. Well, that's what I would have thought. Yeah. I just want to say I consider dad to be riz. Used to describe someone's ability to be charming and ability to wow a woo a person. Jizz. No! Where'd you riz, dad? Crazy. Hey, but that's how it goes. I need to go to a happier place. I feel romantic. Dad, how pussy. Just go to bed, darling. Ah! Ah! All right, change the subject. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Osborne's podcast. I'm Kelly. I'm Sharon. And I'm Ozzy. Okay, so this week we're going to do something a little bit different. Go on. Um, we're going to play games. And some of them you might find a bit weird. Some of them you might not. But this, the first game we're going to play is, what would you call it? Uh, generations. Go on then. So it's, I'm a millennial and you guys are boomers. Did you know that? I'm what? You're a boomer. What's a boomer? Okay, so... <laughs> A baby boomer after the war, everybody was having babies. babies. And that's what they called your really generation. Know. No, we, it's got nothing to do with your dad being in the war. It's got, after the war, after everybody the war. was having babies. Right. And they called that generation baby boomers. Yeah. And the generation I was born in was millennial. What does e that mean? Because we were born at the turn of the century. So. Ish. Ish, yeah. I don't really understand it myself, but the young, the generation now is called Gen Z. What? Gen. It's called the the new the generation that is is now what that are teenagers now is called Gen Z. Generation Z. What does that mean? I don't fucking know, but it does. That's just what they're called. Gen Z. Gen baby Z. boomers. So it goes so baby boomers. Millennial. No, Baby Boomers, Generation X. It's a bit complicated, this fucking game is. Well, we haven't got to the game yet. Because with every generation, there's slang words and lingo that people use that is different. So I thought I'd have the idea of putting together some of the words so that people use. So my generation would say man, and then your generation would say dude. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So in this hat, I have... Generation X, no, Generation Gen Z, sorry, um, lingo. What the hell does Gen Z, what Z stand for? The last letter of the alphabet. Okay. So there's Z. not going to be any more after Gen Z. <laughs> what does it start at A again? Who oh, come up with this fucking game? I did. Um, okay, so this word, have you heard, do you know what it means when someone says based? Bitch. No, Based. Bait. B A S E D. Based. Based. Yeah. That means uh, cocaine. <laughs> Mum, what do you think it means? I have got no idea. Okay. It's person or opinion is one that is confident, free thinking, and not influenced by the opinion of others. For example, I am based. What the fuck? Would you use this word? Would I use that word? Yeah. No, because I, I don't think it it actually uh, explains what based what what it means. Based when you based a turkey. No. <laughs> okay, I don't even know how to fucking pronounce this one, but I Go know on. that this is a silly game. Let okay. me just see wait, this. Wait, this one. This one is actually one of my favorites. It's called Chugi. 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 Yeah. Chugi, chugi, chugi. Do you know what, what that kind means? Of a fucking a chugi. Yeah. Is it sexual? No, mum, it's not sexual. What is it then? None of these words are sexual. All right then. Go on. Tis. <laughs> Go on. When you're chugi, you're mocking someone or something as uncool. Like, oh my god, she's so chugi. Oh god. Yeah, I know. Dear, oh dear, this is awful. Come on. Okay, right. Do you know what riz means? Riz. 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 Yeah. Aren't they smoking papers? Rizzler, riz, riz. Well, that's what I would have thought. Yeah. But. I was wrong. 
I just want to say I consider dad to be Riz. Okay. Come on. But used to describe someone's ability to be charming and ability to wow or woo a person. Jeez. No! Which Riz, dad? Riz. Riz. Yeah. You can charm people. Yeah. You got Riz, dad. Okay, right. Oh, here's one. Do you know what bussin means? Bussing. Bussin. Button. B U S S I N. What what do you think I'm speaking a fucking foreign language over here? Yes, bussin. you are. Bussin. Yeah. Okay. Let's go on then. What is a bussin? What if you had to guess, what would you say? Um Button on his shirt. No, bus, B U S. Things go around the town. Yeah. Text the places. Bussing. <sighs> go on. Oh my god, you're bussin. Meaning? Used to describe something really good, excellent, delicious, usually a reference to food. I think we all know. This one you might know. I'm dead. Dead. When someone says, I'm dead. Dead. Yeah, like D-E-A-D. Tired. Is it you're tired? Expired. No, it's, to, it's to convey a strong emotional reaction, typically in response to something funny, shocking, surprising, or absurd. So, like, if something's really, really funny, you'd be like, oh my god, I'm dead. For fuck's sake. Next one is sus. Sucks. No, sus. S U S. You know something. Oh, they're suspect. Exactly. Mum got one right. <laughs> Go on. Okay, so like when you're in a situation with somebody and you don't trust them, you'd say, ah, oh, that person's kind of sus. Like they've sucks. been using that it one sucks. for years. Yeah, I know. Sus, sus yeah. is like, yeah. sus. That's, that's sucks. Yeah, no. but at least at least it gives you an idea of what you're talking about because it's short for suspect. That sucks. But fucking dead and half baked or whatever, it's I don't fucking know. Go on. What about when someone says okay boomer? That sucks. <laughs> oh, they're being rude. You're mm. a baby boomer, so you don't know what's going on. Exactly. Mom two for two at this point. Look yeah. at you go. Oh yes. Go on. So it's a defensive or sarcastic response to older people, particularly baby boomers, who were perceived as being out of touch with modern attitudes and culture. Well, if I had to fucking talk like this the whole time, I don't. I, I consider myself out of touch because I don't go around being like that's bussin. Vibe check. <laughs> Your butter itch. No vibe. A vibe. Your vibes. Check your vibes. That means you've got a sore bully. <laughs> no, you've got to check your vibes, your attitude. Inquire about or assess the general atmosphere. See? Or mood check of a person, See? group or situation. See? I knew what's going on. Okay, Mum. It's kind of self-explanatory, that one. Vibe check. What? Check your vibes. Am I in this fucking game? Mate? Yes, you are. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Check your vibes at the door. If somebody says, you're mid. That means you're late. Go on. Miserable. No, M-I-D, mid. Mid. Mid, middable. Middable. I'm middable. You're kind of close, because you almost said middle. Mid, me, me, oh, you're in the middle of a, of a you're in the middle of a, yes. No, you're neither or. No, it's something or someone as below average or low quality. So if it's like something that you think it like, oh, so the instead of, of you, isn't, oh, instead of oh, instead of saying it's shit, you can just say oh, it's mid. Okay. Oh, I prefer to say shit, but yeah, mum, you'll know this one. Slay. 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 <laughs> slay, like S L A Y. Slay. Oh. Uh, Knock him down. Yeah, he, yeah. You slayed it. Yeah, to do something spectacularly well. Dad, you are this. A goat? No, the goat. If a someone goat. calls you a goat. You're goat. old and wise. No, Mum. Constipated. No, Dad. The greatest of all time is what it stands for. Oh. A goat. Yeah. So when people come up and tell Dad that he's the goat, that's what they mean. Not the, the devil, great... the devil. No, Mum, not the devil. Satan. Well, goats are with... 
I, I know that, Mum. Well, all right. But it's got all nothing right. to do with the devil. Well, it's it's got, got, who comes questions. up with you are the fucking oh. goat? We're Greatest about the of king. all time. Well, what would that be? What? Yeah, so, like, what would that be an acronym for? Well, goat. The best. Keep. Deep dick. Did you just say deep dick? Do, uh, no, no. I'm dying. <laughs> I just died. Why? You're Be- busting or you're bussing or you're fucking dead? What mm, the fuck yeah. is that? Okay, this I'm one I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm too old for my vibe check. This one drives me nuts when people say it. I literally am like dreading the day that my son starts calling me bruh because that's like what all kids say nowadays to their mother. Bruh. Bruh. Uh, Not bro. It'd be like, bruh, no cap. Do you know what oh, cap oh, that means? Mean, does that mean like, oh God, no cap? No, no. Uh, I'm lost. No, no cap. cap. No cap. C-A-P. Like They've got cap. no bullets for their gun. No, you haven't got to knew it. You can't find your ass. So when someone says like, no oh, cap. no cap, that's like no word of a lie. No, I'm not lying. That means you can't Meaning find your ass. no lie or for real, often cap, used cap. to emphasize someone not exaggerating about something hard to do. I mean, I don't mean no cat means no shit. Yeah, like, kind of. It, like, it means, like, I don't know how to explain that one to you. It's like do you know Karen. people that talk this shit? I do know people that talk like this, Mum, and it's well, very painful. Well, don't bring them around here, because I don't know. But, Dad, you're going to know what they're talking about now. I don't want to, because they all talk shit. Yeah. If it, they talk like this. What does it mean when somebody... Okay, I'll just go with this Go one. on. Gas. Gas, you've shit yourself. No. What is it? What is it? What do you think it means? What? Gas. You slayed it. You were brilliant. Yeah, you got it right. It's to hype someone up. Yeah, you gas. Fuck it up. Constipation. I don't like this one because it just makes me think of farting. Yeah. So I don't want to be gas. Gas. Yeah. Yeah, I've got gas. I have gas a lot. Same. Okay, you'll know this one. Bay. Beg. Bay. Bay what? Or bay. B A E. Bay. Bay. Uh, bay means. Baby. S- s- <laughs> sitting on the dock of the bay. Uh, no. Um. Means, means, means beg. before anyone else. A sexual move. <sighs> it's no. not a sexual move. It it's means before fried. anyone else. Like you did it first. T F T I. See you. See you later. See you. Not now. Ta ta ta. Ta ta. T F. It's thanks for the invite. Oh, that's great. What does it mean when something slaps, Mum? Slap. Oh, it was really good. Yeah. Impressive, Mum. Yeah. You know more of this lingo than you think you do. Oh yeah. Okay, and now this is another one I'm that I can't I'm tuned in. Go on. This is the last one. Let's see if you guys can get it. Simp. Simple. He's a simp. Easy. He's a simp. He's not all there. Right? You're a simp. He's, 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 got, he's got a skid mark. No, you're a simpleton. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Someone who shows excessive sympathy but and skid attention mark. towards another person. So if somebody's like overly dramatic about them being sympathetic towards you, you're yeah. a simp. Well, it's the same thing as you used to say, you're a simpleton. You're simp. Mum, I think that you, you may have more in common with uh, the Gen Zers than you think. With oh, your love of TikTok I, I and know, the words I and the know, lingo. I know. I just connect, you know? <clears throat> well, that, how, do you, how do you guys feel about those words? They don't exactly flow, do they? No. They don't. They're not very, they're not very good words. They're not at all. They it, try hard. It does make me feel like you got to try, try so hard. hard. It's to like talk you're like such that. a try hard. And it, you know, it's like. At least, you, at least you know what that means. Try hard. Yeah. Hey everyone, Kelly Osborne here. And the Osborne's podcast is sponsored by Babbel. Did you know learning actually makes a sound? It's true. Listen. That's the sound of you learning a new language with Babbel. Learning new languages has always been something that is important to me because I travel so much and I feel as though it's a bit of a respect thing just to have the 
basics down, to ask the where to go to the bathroom is, to be able to read a menu. Babbel is a language learning app that actually works. It's teaching me real life conversation skills every day. The best part, Babbel speech recognition technology helps me improve my pronunciation and my accent. Watch this. Au revoir. Au revoir. Here's a special limited time deal for our listeners. Right now, get 50% off a one-time payment for a lifetime Babbel subscription, but only for our listeners at babbel.com slash osbornes. Get 50% off at babbel.com slash osbornes, spelt B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash osbornes. Rules and restrictions may apply. We're going to play a game. This mm-hmm. one's pretty much for dad. Okay. And I'm going to show you pictures of people, and you've got to tell me who they are. Okay. Who is this? That ain't that's, Sharon Stone. That's, that's what's her name? Singer. I Come don't. on. Yeah, you go. Yeah, Dad. Okay. Who's this? Billy. Yes. Very impressed. Two for two, Dad. Yes, yes. Dylan. Yep. Three for three. Now, who's this? I got a fucking clue. Do you, Mum? She's very beautiful. She is. I think she's really cool as well. She's a musician, oh. and her name is Doja Cat. Who? Doja Cat. Never heard of her. She's great. Yeah, she oh, is. Yeah. Do- Doja Cat. I yeah. didn't know with her hair yeah. back like that. She's very no, beautiful. No, it's shaved, Mum. Is it shaved? Yeah. Right. Very nice. Very nice. Dad, who is this? I don't know. He's very good. I don't know. He's a rapper called Drake. Okay. I like Drake. Fellow Jew. Charlie Drake. Love, him. love Drake. I love me some Drake. He's got a piano that I wanted to get for Daddy in his home. Does he? Yeah, beautiful piano, yeah. Go How on. do you know he got it? Because you went back in and they told you he bought it. No, no, no. I His place was in an interior design magazine. Go on. Come on, you know who that Here's is. Here's There we go. This one's a bit easy. Oh, it's pretty. Okay. John Lennon. Fuck off. Fred Sinatra. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know who this is? I haven't got a clue. She's gorgeous. You saw her last night and you asked me who she was. Well, you didn't. Did you tell me? Yeah. I haven't got a clue. Her name is Olivia Rodrigo. Very one good. I, that I think is... Lovely. Who's this? Me. All right. Who's this? Taylor Swift. These are getting too easy. All right. Who's this? He won't know. Oh, fuck knows. He has the best style for a man on the red carpet. He's really changing the game, and I, I have a lot of respect for that. He's like a record producer. His name is Timothy Chalamet, and he is a very, very, very big actor. What's he been in? He's in the new Willy Wonka. Um, he's sweet. He's in Dune. He's very sweet um, little thing, isn't he? I think he is. Dune. Ben Dune. Ben, ben Dune. Dune. Ben Dune. Go ben on. Film Clavity. Yeah, what do you think is the best generation, Mum? The 80s generation. We had a lot of music in the 80s. Great music. Um, 70s was, was all right as well. If I had to pick the best... Decade, I'd say the eighties. So that would be Generation X, right? The eighties yeah. when, when I branched out on my own. I'd, I'd, it's so much fun. It, me and Mum. Did. I bet the eighties was so much fun. It was the decade of decadence. Seventies. It was so. Seventies was fun. Seventies yeah. all right as well. Felt I think free. I think seventies was great because things were changing so quickly. Everything was changing. Yeah, I'm, 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 I remember your mum saying to me in the eighties, "When it turns, I was thinking this is fucking gonna last forever." She said, "Just wait till the end of the end of the decade." And it was just only a turn the eighties after when the nineties began. Overnight, it was just like, yeah, just, it had all changed. I really remember. That. It went from and the nineties went so quickly for me. It was like the, it was like it was like, it was like somebody turned the lights out. Yeah. On the nineties, it was kind of you sort of you know where it was, two thousand and one. Yeah, I think I'm 
too young still to pick a, a decade that. Well, I'll tell you what, remember, I'll, I'll yeah. never forget where, where you, where three of us were in 2001, 9 11. Yeah. It's like, it was yesterday. I know. Fucking hell. I don't know. I think every decade there's good and bad things. I every think so decade. Too. You know. Nothing like 9 11. 9 11 was fucking unbelievable when we were in New York. Yeah. We spoke, spoke about this before. But I'll never forget that. Never. I, and the thing that I remembered so vividly are those people sunbathing on the roof of the hotel. Yeah, yeah. Went up there too. Well, the way we went to the scene of the fucking way we and in the in the distance we see the World Trade Center just smoke. I mean, this guy with look, he says, "Hey, get out of the way! I'll get some rays." This is like a fucking nightmare. The world's ending. And he wants to talk about rays. Can put his fucking shorts. What did on. you, Mum? I remember you bollocked him, but I can't remember what you said. Begins with a C. Okay. <laughs> Clever. <laughs> he gives some. I just think that with every new generation, they try and fix the problems of the previous generation, and it only causes more problems. I, don't, the, the, I remember Waco in the 90s. I remember being living in the Palisades in the 90s. Do you remember when Daddy was spread-eagled on the car? What was In it? the Palisades. <sighs> yes. In his white suit with his red silk shirt. Yeah. That was Daddy's wedding outfit. <laughs> Do it you remember was... when you came down in your wedding outfit? And you had booked a limo for us to go to Lowry's. No. That I was... really enjoyed living in the Palisades. I did. I, I, Jack I, did too. He loved it. It was like something from a movie. And it was, it was like that. It was, it was great. The, it Everybody was went to perfect, each other's houses. Perfect and... American suburban lifestyle. Do you remember that, that, lifestyle? that, that, that guy who's a gambler? Ronnie. He had the big fish tank in his yeah. house. Yeah. Ronnie and his kid died in Did the he pool. give you drugs, that guy? Oh, I, I, Weed, I, I remember. I don't know. He was, he, was, he was involved with some pretty heavy... He's dead. He died. Oh, dear. That's, That's really sad. sad. I remember going at Reddy's house one day and his wife was all miserable. And I said, what's up? She says, Ronnie won $300,000. I said, what are you being fucking thumbs upset for? He lost seven hundred thousand last year. If I lost seven hundred thousand dollars gambling, I think I'd fucking got to clock in, check into a loony bin. Yeah, I don't understand gambling. He bought a thousand dollars worth of scratch cards every time he went into the fucking shop. He'd buy a thousand dollars. Little worth. excessive. No, the Palisades was a nice place to live at that time, wasn't it? It was great. It really was. And the school when they got here. Oh my god! I mean, that wasn't necessarily the best school you could have sent us to. I uh, when the was it that out. that you said means sex? Yeah, yeah. Um, Mum sent us to Calvary Christian School in the Palisades, where they put us in the bathroom and told us we had to pray for our sins because our father was a Satanist, and. And you had to convert somebody over the summer holidays. Oh, yeah. But it didn't stop him fucking asking me for a million dollars for this extension. I know. But, and they also, like, I just remember sitting there in class and this teacher went, Bruh! like that. And I'm like, what are you doing? Kind of thing. We're all like looking at her and she goes, I can feel the Lord in my spine. And it was like that every day. And like, look. You want to be a part of organized religion, that is fine by me. I'm, I think that it, there's a very important place for it in everybody's life. I am not into the idea of shoving it down your throat constantly and telling me that I'm a sinner. Did I and, go there? Well, no, we only put you there because it was close to the house. <laughs> it was like we were like walking targets in that school. The the pupils give you stick. I like yeah. the uniform too. The, the uniform, uniform was, was very nice. cute. I remember very the cute, and it was close to the house. The religion, wow. I mean, I learned a lot at yeah. that school, and I did learn a lot about Christianity. But well, it's good to learn about other religions. I'm like into that, but you didn't have to. If it if it didn't feel good, 
it just for you, then that's it. It just felt like I was being forced to do something I didn't really want to do. I used to have to sing hymns at school in Same, the morning. In the morning in yeah. in England. I miss yeah. that. Oh, I and don't. And our books were so dusty. We would have the hymn book and then everybody, we'd get an order mark or detention if you um, <laughs> did this, but we'd get them and after the hymn and smack them shut and, the and then dust. you'd just see the dust yeah. coming off all of it. Yeah. It, we used to have to sing hymns and I never knew any of the words and I just used to open and close my mouth. Oh, that's what everyone does, Mom. Yeah. Like, how did, how is it though? That when someone starts singing a hymn, they know the melody and they've never heard it before. Well, you just follow everybody else. Follow the teacher. It was just like, how do they know how this song goes? And I forget, like, when in, in school in England, how intense, like, they took a school assembly and the hymns and... Did you sing hymns at school? Me? Yeah. No. Yeah, of course I did sing. You would have had assembly with the, with the hymns, assembly. yeah. Can I just say that with Generation Z, they all think that they have to jump on the bandwagon of these causes, that they don't research, they don't educate themselves, they don't understand the root of the problem and look at both sides. They just take an opinion and they oh. get married to that opinion and are so horrible to each other if they have a difference in opinion. It's insane. Well, first Talking of all, there's what? no debate. It's And there's no debate on anything. So and it's masturbate. fashion. <laughs> it's fashion to pick up a cause and go with it. But you're right. They don't research it. I'm, they don't know what they're talking about half No, they the time. don't, especially when it comes to Israel and Palestine. They're not educating themselves on the history of any of it. And the thing that gets me on this generation is... Oh, don't stop. No, no, no. Hold on. With war, okay, there are innocent victims on both sides. On both sides. Fucking and both sides are people that are dying, and that's what they should be talking about. Not just one side or the other, on both. And they should be talking about war being just dreadful. But no, it's, oh, they're all on one side or the other side. And then there's, there no, was... there's no gray area in anything. It's no. just black and white. That's it. No. And I think that that, they'll find, just my opinion, that Generation Z, as they get older, will find that they have made a few mistakes. But I don't know if they'll ever own it. you got to be careful what you talk about when you talk about Because you've got to, you know, there's always so many... But I strongly disagree with what you think. No, I know that, but it's... Yeah, but it's fine to disagree as long as you can debate and not get ugly and start but, to but, abuse but, so each other. If, if you had, if you put yourself in this position, if you were from the West Bank and you lost your family, you'd be pissed off. Of course. Of course. Yeah. So are the innocent people. Suffer on both sides. That's right. It's the innocent people. And whenever there's politics, politics that's, that's, is that's the what, worst. That's what, that's what these cowardly people who do these fucking terrible things, they want that so. They want that those innocent people to get equal killed because they'll live to get their point across. Yeah. it's. But war is a crime. I... I, I, I so it amazes me that people still do it. It didn't work in the 30s and 40s, and it won't fucking work in the 2000s. But when did it work? From it day worked. dot, it never worked. I mean, whoever gets killed on either side, have luck. Yeah. Like the kind, it's not like a football game. I can't go, on, oh, we lost the war. You know. and try again next year. It's, it's, it's just it's silly, stupid. It is stupid, but I think that sure. for, as a result of what is going on, the rise in people being anti-Semitic is it's mind blowing. Anti anything's wrong. If you, if you the it world the world's a big enough place, if you don't like a certain person or creed or whatever, find a place that you like. You know, you, know, you don't have to live next to someone that you don't like. No, don't go. Yeah, that'll. You don't have to throw a bomb in or fucking blow them up or shoot them. Fucking 
change your location and find one what you do like. Did you see that guy that threw the acid? Do you know I was watching that scene no, during the night show, but that kid who shut the school at one of the school shows. Yeah, yeah. And the, and the ju judge was reading the line, and I was thinking, was it worth doing all that damage? I mean, the, 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 the victim's family members have got to live for every birthday, every fucking Christmas. Every, it's a reminder or that like you hear a song or you smell a fragrance or you have a meal or you walk down the road. You, 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 he's in jail. His life's fucked. And he's, he just, How many people did he kill? He, he was uh, something like 32 life sentences. I don't think there is a strong enough punishment for something like I mean, that. If you, if, you, if you kill them, they're gone. What about that guy, that young kid that went into a Bible study? He went into yeah. a church and they were doing Bible study. Well, he one, went one and then the, shot everyone. One of the everyone. people says, uh, says uh, where you go, they're going to give you, 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 you see, being in the jail with... Uh, that he says, he says yeah, that you you'll think that was a fucking hotel in in prison to hide people that shoot kill kids, yeah, and, and they'll get you and you'll have a fucking hell of time. As generations have have gone on, it is it, the craziest part to me is that it's a specific kind of person. How come every other country in the world just had shootings maybe? Whatever mass shooting, uh, the following day they've completely changed the firearms laws. Yet it keeps happening time and time over and over. It, 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 it did. It, listen, the punishment there was ne never fits the crime. One kid, his parents gave him a gun for his birthday, and then he went into school and shot everyone. But don't you think the parents should be held responsible yes. as well? Firearms are too easy to come by in this country. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, people Didn't lie they... when they... Have you, have you ever had a, a, a mental illness? No. Dude, wasn't there one state here that if you went and opened up an account at this certain bank, you, you could, could get you a could, free yeah. gun? Well, yeah, in Denver, you'd get I like mean, a... that's insanity. It's fucking nuts. You can buy your... It's what you can get, the calibre. I mean, with, that, with them... Uh, the, Firearms and kids are shooting. Your head would explode when you get one of them. Around. You fucking. It's just. It's just not. A, what do you think the biggest you're difference? You're not saying. Is I mean, between shotguns are one thing, but the firearms you can get in these countries, fucking unbelievable. The difference between. Let's just say the generation now versus your generation. I think every it's every soft totally is, totally you can't compare. Have a look silly. at the the the, uh, the amendments. Oh. oh, I know what you're saying. What is it fucking no, called? No, it's six, the sixth amendment and the fourth amendment. What is that called? Constitution. What? The but what are they, the what is it called? The, the South, Constitution. The Constitution. That's right. The but Constitution. It, 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 the, it would, it would, uh, the firearms thing was when you had to circle your wagons, and yeah. it was it was designed for a militia. It's all archaic, but but it, sh it should be reviewed every you now. You don't have, you don't have to fucking Kelly. Kelly just asked us a question about our generation of growing up to what it is today, and I said there is no comparison, no comparison at all, because kids were seen and not heard. And if you were at school and you misbehaved, <laughs> if you were at home, yeah. same thing. If there's somebody you didn't like, you wouldn't, you would, you would, you would, you would ever come into your mind of going on and getting a gun and shooting the people at school. No, I know. It's crazy. I mean, it's. And a, the, the guy I was watching, in some in Florida, he got something like 32 life sentences running in How old was he? Oh, I was only a fucking 19 isn't it? there was one case this is the same but different um, in germany this woman's son got raped by this man five times oh yeah no no it was but long beach long beach it was, was it long beach long beach got raped five times 
She walked in the court and she went, bang, 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 shot him five times in the head. Yes, I'd do it. And, 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 and she went, she dropped the gun, she went, he won't be doing that anymore. Would you, if we were kids now, would you send us to school here in America? I'd homeschool. No, never. I never, would, never, I would never. no fucking way. See, that's I'm, what I, that literally, there's no fucking way. You know, you know, you know you, well, well, I, said, I said to your mum before, I said, what will happen is that certain families will so, say, you got kids, I got kids. And they've got a small school instant in their houses. Because it's just fucking insane. I would no way. I think it's, I think it's insane that kids have fucking scoot shooting drills. In fact, you know, in this school shooting I was watching, the, t- the, t- the teachers, that, like they were recently told in a you know, staff meeting that they were going to start having active gun shooting uh, drills. Drills. She said at first, I said, oh, fuck it. I thought it was a good, you know, the, the gun. When a, when a gun goes off, it's not like the cowboy film. No, no. It's the loudest fucking thing you ever heard. And she went, Oh, I, I, I just put a fucking tape on just to... to it's, she didn't believe it was real. It's... She says, you feel the... Imp, the, the pre, when, when they shoot them, go, you feel the pressure of the, the air moving. Yeah. But kids today in schools, unless you pick a, a school that is... I mean, they're all run differently. Yeah. But um, to send a kid to school here, no, wouldn't do I, it. I mean, I mean, it's never. If you, it's it's so easy to get you get them so easily. I know. You're talking about guns. I'm talking about schools. What age do you think you were the happiest in your life? Uh, right now. Really? We mum. I don't want to kill anything. I don't want to harm anything. I don't. I, I don't want to. Do anything stupid. I've, we've had a great life, your mum and I. A fantastic life. We've experienced things that oh, when I was a kid, I, I would never have dreamed. I would not have dreamed the life I've had. I don't think I could have dreamed the life it's I've had. It's been so amazing. We've stayed at the best hotels. We've eaten the best food. We met the best of <laughs> assholes as well, but... No. What about you, Mum? What was your favourite age? Mm. See, mine would be right now because I feel like I'm finally coming into my own and I'm an adult. And yeah. It, life you, is you got beginning. Your family. In, yeah, I've got hey, my little right family. Right now, is, yeah. it's hard to be a teenager. Let me give you oh some, my God, is it's it? It's really, really hard. And especially in these times, it's really the difficult. That's the, why I have so much respect for Generation Z because they. I know what it's like to be a teenager and how difficult it is and what they're facing in the world nowadays and how people don't listen to their opinion because they're young and what it may be. I I do have a lot of empathy for that. Do you not? Um, like, no. Think about mom. No, they most have social media. We didn't have that. I mean, social I, I media mean, has the, a lot. The, the information that the younger generation can get now is, 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 I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. It's a bad thing. Too much of anything is, is too, it's too much. It's yeah. a bad thing. I mean, there's no nice thing. There's no, can I tell you, that's I what I'm really liking about spending so much time in middle America right now is that I find leaving L.A., and leaving the world of Hollywood and going somewhere where it's just normal people that work a normal job and have normal families. And I have... I you know, have getting, people, like it's, people in England it's think... It's comfortable. I feel comfortable people around... People in England think everywhere is like LA or New York. Yeah. And start, you go 100 miles up the road. And it's different. Yeah. You know, even in California, you go 20 miles up the freeway and it's a different one. Yeah, it is very, it is like... Listen, it's hard being a kid at any time. It's hard. But now with social media, it's really fucking difficult. It's yeah. really difficult. I There's mean, too much information being thrown at them all day long. There's, you know, people 
displaying themselves, everything. It's just, it's just hard, hard to be a kid right now. I understand that. But at the same time, too, so many kids are in this day and age brought up with no morals, no manners, no manners no whatsoever, respect. no respect, and very little life when experience. Kid, if, when I was a kid, and I'd get on a bus with my dad, oh, he wouldn't have to tell me. And there was an elderly woman got on the bus and I was sitting down. If I didn't give him the, I, I, you, just, you just do nice things, you help when I was the person. Oh, you, that, you can't do that anymore. Why? Because it's not right. You can't offer a woman a seat on a, anything like that anymore. What do you mean? No, there was some woman. They, some guy did it on a on a train, and she was offended because he oh, offered she her a can seat. Fuck off! Oh, I, I, I can I can remember being on the road in Chicago uh-huh. at the hotel. It was you get an elevator from the ground to the... I remember the hotel, and you, it's the peninsula. Eighth floor, and then you get another elevator to your room. And I, was, I wasn't thinking, and I, 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 I just walked on the elevator, and I, I, I was just one. She said, just one said, I don't know where you where you were from, around here, we have manners. I went, I'm, I'm so sorry. I, said, I wasn't even thinking. I'm so sorry, and I apologise. Why? What did you do? I, just, I rushed past her to get on the elevator. Oh, 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 okay. And so I got my key on the second row. I'll never forget this. I got to get on there, and I got to this other woman. I got, after you, and she goes, is, is there something wrong with me? Oh, shit, it was the opposite. Yeah. So you never really know what you were... I don't know, a fucking... Well, I will say that I just... It, the Dolly Parton thing that I did, there was this young actor from the TV show Young Sheldon. Mm-hmm. They send their love, by the way. The little one. Yeah, yeah oh, he's Ian, lovely. He, um, he had the most impeccable manners. Yeah, he does. He and does. he was giving up his seat for people... And making sure that everybody was okay. And I was just like, what a breath of fresh air that is. To, to mm-hmm. see somebody so young mm-hmm. that has so much talent and probably has had a whirlwind life but you because do of what they do. And people, people they're think, still people, mannered. People think uh, they, don't, they don't know how to react. They don't know how they're getting set up to be mugged. Like, I will, okay, what about this one? When you're in an elevator and you're on your own, and somebody else walks in. If it's me, I don't care. If it's a woman, I'll stay in the elevator. If a man gets in the elevator with me and I'm on my own and I don't know that man, I want to. I get out of the elevator. Just because I don't trust anybody or anything now. Wouldn't no, I'm with you. I don't necessarily get out, but the first thing I think of is he's going to try and mug me. That's the first thing that goes through my head. But it's But it's specifically like... I am frightened in LA. No, it's it's specifically for young people. When young kids get in, I'm thinking, I'm going to get mugged. Because we live in LA and everybody gets mugged, Mum. Everybody. At some point, I don't know yeah, anybody that doesn't just have LA, a story. It's not just LA. It's everywhere. Well, it, in England, in no, California, stabbing. they changed people, the laws. Who... What? They changed all the laws. So they... They don't get prosecuted. They just get put right back on the street again. Mm-hmm. So they've got no in fear. In England, stabbing is a really, really a problem. Kids get stabbed all yeah. the time. They have machetes. And they have this thing. What's it called? I'm trying to think uh, of the name of the knife. Switchblade. What? No, no. There's a name of this knife that they have. You've knife. got one. Yeah. Both I knife. saw that you've got one on your desk at home and it's... Really big cutouts in it. I'm trying to think the name. Dagger. No. Onion knife. Shut up. I can't think. Anyway, it's this style of knife that has been totally Sheep banned. Knife. And Daddy's got one on his desk. I looked at it and went, "Okay, yeah." They're banned. What? You said they were banned. They were banned. Yeah, in England now, and I can't remember yeah, the uh, name of it. No, Gurkha knife. No. I can't remember, but anyway, it's guns here. It's knives and machetes in England. So, if you if you if you if you have a knife in your car, you in the cops point, you don't. I agree with that. I mean, what the fuck do you need a knife for? 
Every guy I know guy in stopped us, it was America a... carries a knife on them at all times, and I don't understand why. Get out of it. All of them, Mum. I think Josh may be the only one who doesn't. You mean like on a key ring or no, something? No, not on a key ring. Like what Jack wears. What's Jack? You can't got? do that in England. He's got. A, he has a knife on him at all fucking times. Why does he want to peel an apple all day? That's what I'm like. What the fuck do you need the knife for? What the fuck? We well, shouldn't be doing that. All right, let's, let's end on a happy note. I'm going to go... Study your words, I'm going to study my words tonight, and I am going to be down with these You're words. You're going to be bussing, Mum? She's probably saving the wrong You're not going to be a simp. You're going to be bussing. Oh, I ain't no simp. Huh? So from Ozzy, it's a good night. So you haven't said hello to Auntie Jean. Hi, Hi Auntie, Auntie Jean. Jean! Hi, Auntie Jean. Um, I ain't no simp, Auntie Jean. Neither is Auntie Jean. No, of course she's not. Of course she's not. So, go on. What else aren't I? Baked? Baked. <laughs> Isn't that one of the words? No. Oh, based. 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 Am I or aren't I? I don't fucking remember what it means. Jesus, oh. it's so difficult. I'll have to study me words so, tonight. Good night from me. Good night, Dada. Good night.